Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode. Today, we're going to unbox and set up, hopefully set up, <laughs> the Netgear Nighthawk AX2700 Wi-Fi cable modem and router. I'm going to take the glossy plastic off. Ta -da. Okay. Now on the front, you can see that it is Wi-Fi 6 compatible. It is a cable modem with multi-gigabit internet speed and it is designed for Xfinity Spectrum or Cox. So this does have the Doc6 3.1, uh, which essentially is a lot faster than 3.0, but Really all you have to know is uh, Doxis 3.1 is backwards compatible to Doxis 3.0. So 3.1, you don't have to change any of the 3.0 uh, pieces of equipment that you have. Pretty nice. Now you can also have a Nighthawk app that you can download on your phone that'll help you set up uh, the system later on. On the side here, it does have a lot of the specs. On the back, of course, it has a little bit of the advertising stuff. And, you know, what the built-in DOCSIS 3.1 cable modem, kind of what that means. Uh, the six stream Wi-Fi 6, what that means. And of course, the claim that it's gonna save you money and of course the built-in gigabit plus internet service. Now, this also does come with 90 day Netgear Armor Cybersecurity. I probably won't use that because uh, I have other cybersecurity stuff, but it's nice if you don't have a cybersecurity system, you can use the 90 day free trial and see if you like it and then go from there. Oh, and it does have a 30 day, uh, I'm sorry, I said 90 day, it's 30 day uh, Netgear armor included. My apologies, I misspoke. And of course on the other side of the panel is some more um, information for you if you wanna see it. Now to open this bad boy up, let's see what we got here. This seems to be packaged very, very well. So, in the packet, you do have a Connect Us uh, kind of card. So it says, we want you to have the best experience with your new Netgear product. Contact us if you have any questions or concerns. We're here to help. Then, you do have extend your warranty and support. It says product and support, oh, excuse me, protect and support your recent Netgear purchase by extending your warranty and support entitlement with Netgear Pro Support for Home. Uh, all you gotta do is Take a picture of the QR code. It'll take you there, you fill the stuff out, and it doesn't say how long it extends it, but I guess it extends it. All right, and of course you do have your quick start guide, which I'm definitely gonna need this. Opening up the box. Ah, you do have the power brick and you have an ethernet cable which I'm sure is going to help with the setup. Uh, all right so on the product itself
on the one side. Nice, oh, nice vents and everything there, I see that. Of course, it comes with a built-in stand. Yeah, it looks like it has uh, <laughs> router information and stuff, so I'm gonna cover that up <laughs> on the bottom. Um, and also, on this side, it does have the network uh, passcode and uh, Wi-Fi passcode and name, so I'm gonna cover that up <laughs> with my fingers here. So, just for security reasons. And then on the back, of course, that's where the power supply goes in. That's where the cable connects. You have a USB 3.0 uh, connection here. And of course, one, two, three, four. Uh, probably Cat5. Doesn't really say on here. I'm assuming it's just a standard Cat5. Uh, cable connection and one and two are aggregate and of course you have your little reset button up there as well okay I'm a little nervous but let's go see if we can set this thing up connect your cable connect your power cable to the back of the modem plug in the power brick when you plug it in you see all kinds of light starts flashing that is absolutely normal. Now when you set up, there's this light right here that kind of looks like a, I don't know, a globe, and it has something going around the globe. Well, that has to light up, and there it goes. And that can take up to 10 minutes or so. As it says, first step, download the Nighthawk app to install your modem router. At the time of this video, this was the setup procedure, and this was the application, what you would see at the Google Store. And once it's downloaded on your phone, just click on the app, read over and agree to the terms and conditions, and the privacy policy. Allow location services, otherwise the app's not quite going to work right. Create a Netgear account if you have not already done so, and if you're creating an account this is the information that they're going to ask for so be prepared now you just click on set up a nighthawk and then you just simply scan the qr code on the side of the nighthawk itself and for some reason it, it asks specifically if i was an xfinity customer which i happen to be so i put i use xfinity but i'm sure the other providers they kind of set up about the same way I would assume. Now if you notice, the light went back off and it's actually reset, the whole modem reset, and the instruction said that is normal. Now once this light comes on solid, that does not mean everything's set up. What that means is you must go to your ISP provider and register the new modem and when i went to my xfinity site for some reason it kind of tested my speed which strangely enough it was reading from my old modem i didn't know what to push so i just clicked get more speed and it took me to this page where i clicked on activate x5 gateway or modem i figured i had a modem so that's what i clicked on which turned out to be the right thing because then I clicked on your own modem and this screen popped up. So I pushed start activation. Then it asks you to do exactly what I did before, which is plug in the cable and the power. Then you put in the Mac number, which can be found on the bottom of the modem. It asks you to simply double check your connections, which I did. It started the activation service and it claimed it was done. So the only choice I had was continue to Xfinity, which is what I did. And it said your Netgear is now online. So the only thing I could really push was restart modem. That's what I did. My guess was right. After you activate your device to like Xfinity or whatever your ISP uh, provider is, 
the modem will reset. Once everything is set up with Xfinity, then go back to the Nighthawk app, push on that you've acted with X Xfinity, and it will go to the next prompt. You then see the Nighthawk app uh, trying to connect to the Netgear Nighthawk. And once it connects, it asks you to personalize your settings, which I did. Then out of curiosity, I went back to Xfinity to do the speed test, and here's a before and after. Wow, what a difference. At the end of resetting everything and putting in new administrative passwords and those kind of things, it will reset. That is normal. Then you go back to your Nighthawk app and it asks you to continue. Normally, what happens is there'll be an update or something. Just follow the prompts and you'll be fine. And there's not much more to tell after that. That's it. So as always, have a great day. I hope this helped.